Hi, this is Phil Huckle, the brand executive from uh, Castrate. Today I'm going to take you on a little tour of one of my favorite distilleries, which is um, Fetacan. Um, Fetacan is actually still fighting the perception uh, from, from many whiskey aficionados that it actually isn't a, a good quality mold. And I actually completely disagree with that. Um, but you find that once word of mouth spreads amongst the whiskey drinking community, it's quite a hard reputation to shake. Uh, to be honest, this is, a, this is a malt that didn't really come onto my radar uh, that much until quite recently. And I have to say, I, I was quite impressed. For anyone um, out there who is put off a little bit by what they've heard in the past or what they've tasted um, a while ago, um, I would implore them to revisit this distillery. Um, the, the cure for Fetacan actually has been quite simple. Um, because what they've done is they've actually heavily invested in much better quality casks. Um, in fact, they've re-racked basically every cask in their warehouse and this has completely transformed the quality of the spirit. Um, I would actually whisper quite, quietly amongst your friends because you might offend somebody. Uh, tell them that this is now a very, very good whiskey. The production for Fetacan uh, is actually done in a very uh, traditional way. Uh, they use uh, small stills, they use wooden washbacks uh, with an open mash tun. And the style of Fetacan uh, you will find is quite a full bodied malt. Um, I find it's quite nutty and um, the flavours are underpinned um, by quite actually tropical fruit notes. And uh, today their production is now up to about 1.5 million litres per year. Um, a little history on, on Fetacan. Um, the distillery can actually date its history back to 1824. Um, but like many distilleries, they actually struggled to survive in the early years and into the 20th century. And they certainly weren't helped okay, by, uh, by fire, by sporadic bankruptcies. Um, there was, of course, World War I, there was World War II. Um, there was the big global depression and this actually caused the distillery to open and close on, on a fairly regular basis. Um, even under White and Mackay's ownership um, from 1973 to 2009, um, very little of Fetacan was ever bottled as a single malt. And it's actually only been in the last 10 years uh, there's been more focus on actually building uh, the brand itself. Um, the new owners have actually released now a core range and you can find a 12, a 28, a 40, and a 50 year old are all available. And um, I actually personally think the repackaging has really enhanced the image of the brand. Um, today, most of the liquid is actually aged in first fuel bourbon casks. And this actually gives the whiskey a little bit of added sweetness. If you are looking to invest in Fetacan casks, then definitely the time to do it is now, as the momentum is building behind this once unloved distillery.